Slayer. What it do? What's pop, everybody? <coughs> you already know we're here with the first Shinsu Clash of the year, 2021. It's going to be the battle of uh, the Irregulars today. We got we got the top, the top four in the tower, the champion of the tower himself. The Ray Barracuda throwing Shinsu at the speed of light. Rurek Mazina, clap it up, clap it up. Then we got the king of the tower, the greatest simp, the greatest event <laughs> to ever come. Dada Jaha went crazy. The golden needle from Mystery Island. We got King Jihad Zahard, depending on how you like to pronounce it. Joined today by East. Say something. All right. Cool. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the grandson of Ha Yerwin is making his comeback today. Ha Jun Thong in the building. Sure. Yes, sure. sir. Yes, sir. Good to be back. Thank you. Thank you. So you already know how it is uh, with this. We don't just talk combat, even though that would be kind of the focal point going in. We can talk about their appearance, who we like more, who we think is more important moving forward, the roles they'll play in the story, all manners of comparisons. And we're going to, uh, yeah, we're going to have a good time with it. A little something like Eeny, Meeny, rap in the beginning. Smoke a little pack, but a pack never timid. Church, but I'm seeing it. Curse when I'm winning. She need a new back when it's back, I'm gonna bend it. Slap up some guinea, ask me to hint it. Watch a nigga black, so react, I'm gonna quit it. Swerve in the Benzie, perfume is Fendi. Bob and move fast, real fast, like I'm Ricky. This is I'm pretty. Came from the dirt. Showing up a nigga can't handle the work. Ooh, y'all, swing with it first. Young white girl, like a rap with it. So, first thing I want to ask you guys off the rip is. Which character would you say you like better or like more out of the two? It, or are you indifferent, mixed? Hmm. I would say. Oh, you can go ahead. Yurik is not even a competition. <laughs> <laughs> my Stano, my goat. Ray Bear Kuda out. Yes, sir. I, I no, yeah, I, I agree. I, I like uh, I like Yurik more. But. The way uh, Jaha's been presented to us lately, like within the like, like with that whole flashback with the king and stuff, we'll, we'll get into that. He's definitely uh, his presence is crazy to me, but I, I still got to give it to Yuri. So, I, I mean, for me, I, I agree with the outcome. I definitely think I like Marek more than Jaha at the time being. I've also seen him more. He's had he's had a little bit more agency in the story, though we've seen that of Jaha, but that's not current Jaha. So you know what I'm you know what I'm saying, but. I do like mm -hmm. Jahad a lot. I really think he's very interested in his own way. His history with V, Arlene, when he came to the floor of death. Ragdoll, bam. <laughs> bam, second throw and got him the fuck out of there. Like, I think there's a lot of intrigue with him. And, and we're going to talk about some of the stuff uh, later in terms of the floor he stopped climbing on and things of that nature. But I do think he's very interesting. And I call him the great sip in the tower just because, you know, V, v kind of rejected him. Not V, sorry, Arlene. And he was like, all right, war. <laughs> you know, like I'm gonna kill your son type beat. So he kinda even but Oh V I didn't know it was your house wrong like right that. Okay then. <laughs> and with Urek, <laughs> I almost appreciate him because he's one of the only high rankers and really, really um characters in the tower with like immense presence, immense stature, immense respect and reverence. And he hasn't lost himself. He's yes, he's very boastful and very magnanimous and whatnot. But he still cares about the little guy. He reminds me of a mega corporation that would f lift up small businesses. Like he will see someone like before he knew Bam was an irregular. He's like, dude, that Slayer and a uh, FUG. He kind of scratched me. Yo, yo, keep an eye on him. He nice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hell, Joe. He gave him the red uh, Theresa because he, he he believed in his and whatnot. He wanted to help out the little guy, and I always appreciate that about him. So he's a dope character for that. That's the amazing why I like him more. A lot of the higher rank we see are very condescending and arrogant, and he's not—he's not—he's not not arrogant. But again, he hasn't lost himself, so I can appreciate that. But what about um, what about appearance? Who do you think looks cooler? Looks. Oh, <coughs> Jihad. I mean, I like I, I love like when when, when, when I, personally when we first seen Yurik. And he came through like shirtless, kind of like like the like a jock, like 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 kind of like a jock me head look, mm -hmm. backwards hat and shit. Had a whole towel on his back. I was like, wait a minute, he kind of raw, but feel it. But when we when like that of Jahar looked kind of goofy with his little like you know adventurer setup. But once we seen 
real man come through. And even his, uh, like I said, when we seen him in the flashback, his gear was just, it was so like, like it was like majestic, like so king-like, you know what I mean? Yep. With how he had the, how like the drapes over, the earrings and everything. And like, I don't know, that shit just looked way too cool to me. So if we going off that, I, I, I'll give that to John. I ain't mad at it. East? You there? I guess not. Um, for me, uh, I don't know. So here's the thing, right? Like, I see. I do you remember when they used to roll Surek? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with, with the with the with the, with yeah with the sweatsuit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I do think that shit is. I don't think that shit looks bad at all. It's clean, but I think I think he looks cooler with his chest out with the when he has his shit wrapped around his um his waist like the. Hell yeah! Right? Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah! Because his like, tattoo is clean. No, like so. I think he yeah. actually looks cooler that way. So I kind of prefer it, but like based off his most recent attire, I gotta give it to Jihad, man. He he. he <laughs> it's the stance though, too. People gasping because how he like looked pulled up. He yeah. looked so funny. I see niggas talk like, about who wears a fitted cap in twenty uh, whatever year at the time twenty seventeen. Like, no. we don't wear fitted caps no more. We wear snap a uh, snapbacks and whatnot. So I, I remember they used to go at it for that. Like, yeah, he, I'm boys wearing shell toes. Yeah, he clean though. He has to clean his outfit. Yeah. <laughs> the adventurer outfit. He looks like he's just equipped with all the like best gear in a game, like armor. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, level up. Yeah. Armor and shit. Like he looks clean. I, I did all the he, side quests before the main story. You know what I'm saying? Like he got like the extra <laughs> sword that you can only get if you do this one chain side quest that is actually stronger than the sword you have now. Like he's he's out here. Dad Jihad, I just really hate the shorts and his knees just look mad bony. Like, you know, I don't know what it was. His shorts were hidden. <laughs> Put down a Jihad. So, <laughs> but I do think um, Urek, that Urek, look look cool. Dad Jihad though, that that I think he look, he look cooler. The yeah, corrupted, mm-hmm. corrupted Dad too. So he was like he had that, that like glitchy look to him a little bit. That was raw. But uh, yeah, so okay, let's kind of get East. Are you, is East is East back? Are you here? Oh, he, oh, he's still muted. Okay, we'll keep it. We'll keep it going. But all right, so. What I want to ask you real quick before we hop into like the comparison. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Jihad. Jihad, you said for appearance. All right, all right cool. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I know he's at work, so just kind of some slack. But um, when you first saw Urek, I see. I, if I remember correctly, we didn't we didn't really know who he really, really, really was. No, but no. If I actually called back. It had a, it had a typo. It said Urek could, could actually um, create life before they fixed it to Enry. There was actually a typo. I don't know if you were reading it that early, but what's your, what was your first impressions of both characters? Basically, what I'm gonna say, like, what's your first impressions of them? Like, you first, first saw Urek Mazino and everything. Like, what was your impression? Like him, not like My, him. No, I, I loved him. I was impressed. Yeah, I, I, highly impressed. Like. And you can go ahead, East. Yeah, East, if you're going to speak off. You got it. Oh, okay. Can I be here? Because I'm. Yes, you uh, can. You can. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was kind of muted at one point. Maybe you were talking on me. Yeah. Go ahead. Press. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was highly impressed, bro. Like, nigga was like, like, you know, with the little bam shit. Like, okay. I mean, now it's like kind of like a plot inconvenience or like plot level thing. That's kind of iffy, but we just take it out, like. And being like, yeah, you're going to need at least a thousand niggas to come for me. Yep. Because he, he bodied all the rankers outside of the, the Zagania, the flower of Zagania. He bodied them. He's like, mm-hmm. you need a thousand of these to beat me. He said, if you need to, if you want to even stop me for a millisecond, first of all, you need an opera. This is the strongest lighthouse fucking tower. So I remember reading this, I'm like, bro, who is this nigga? Is he like OD, yeah. OD, or am I like... Yeah, I feel like, yeah, the first time reading that, that was the first time in that series that, like, I really was like, okay, this this is, like, the big dog. Like, you know, seeing Yuri and Ren was, you know, crazy, whatever, whatever. But, like, as far as, like, display of power and, like, getting more beyond that, like, who he is, and it's like, this is him? Mm-hmm. Like, you need to... Uh, what's an opera? And then you read, like, the little side comment, that's, like, a thousand lighthouses. And it's like, what? I know, and like he's watching rankers, like you said, and that's the first time I feel like we've seen that in that. You know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> I would say like, so now when you so then now when you like actually knew 
for sure. Because I think after the fact, we had learned about the rankings and everything. So now, you know, we know more about the rank. He's ranked four in the tower and everything. So when you when you had that extra snippet of information, did your did your viewpoint on him change at all? Or were you like, oh, shit, he's like that raw? Like, you know, like, what, what was your thought? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because you see somebody like... Mazzino, that's him. It's like, oh, who, who's that? Okay, oh, damn, he raw. Like, he said he need a thousand of these shit. Like, yeah, he's pretty powerful. Then, But then you get, like, number four in the tower. It's like, number four? Damn! Like, what, <laughs> what do you mean, number four? And why he look like he's, like, like 19? So, I mean, I know everybody in the tower is young, but he didn't even have no, like... He just gave me this, like, rebel rebel feeling. You feel me? Like I said, with the tat backwards hat, I'm number four in the tower. I came through, like, what's up? Yeah. Like, what's up? I'm here. Y'all yeah. need... I need everything to stop me. Yeah, it's like so it's very, very much more impressive. I'm in agreement with that. Um, and like, yeah, it's like for me, I definitely was like, yeah, he's like him. I wonder who that guy was, but I think I probably got it out of my mind. But I remember when I was getting to some of the blog posts, and I think at some point, whenever I got the I'm like, yo, he's number one in the tower, four, but oh, <laughs> he was not capping when he said. Just know I'm one of the strongest. Being like that sounds like something, some shit I would say if I ran to some niggas. It's just, like I just talk. Yeah, word. <laughs> talk some shit. Like I'll just say that shit. Don't come near me. <laughs> like yeah, I'm one of the strongest people in the tower. Don't mess with me. You know, just that's just that's just some shit you would say. So, but uh, okay. Now, what about um? She said she jihad is a little different. But when we got, I think the first time we kind of seen him a bit was the Arlene stuff when Garam was doing the lore dump. We saw him from the back a bit, but I'm gonna just go with the I'm gonna start with the data version because that was still kind of crazy that reveal, even though it wasn't the real jihad. Like, when do you realize with the hidden floor, and this was like you know him as a reg, as a regular, this is the king of the tower, in the floor of death, data jihad. What what the fuck was going through your mind, bro? Like, my, my I, okay, I, I didn't know what the I was like, wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay. I, I, I remember immediately going, I don't fuck with the shorts, but okay, hold on. Bam, looking at him, and he's seeing some type of monster. Theme. And I'm like, yo, what's going on? This guy, yo, I, that, made, that gave me so much intrigue for that arc, because honestly, I was struggling at one point. I didn't care about any of the data people like that. Um, Hansung Yu aside. Like, you know, the, I thought about the fake people like Batis and his wife, whatever the fuck their names were. I didn't care. The sword, yeah, everything. But, 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 yeah. Ooh. Intrigue. But yeah, how'd you feel? <laughs> well, you know, I, 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 oh, you got a joke. No, 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 you, you good, bro, you good. Uh, no, um, uh, when I think I said, like, you know, I, you know, you're cutting it off. The monster, the, when the order chapter came out. So we in the weekly, I, I was still binging. That's literally the point at which I had called the tower guy. So I was running a, a better. So you uh, caught up around that time. Yeah, exactly around that time. And then I, I was like, I was like going crazy and shit. And I was like, oh, that was crazy today. But like, we tried too, and I was like just watching. He was like, look at me, what do you see? And like, the little fucking red horn popped out, and this shit was just like, that nigga, bam, like, I need to jump out. Who the fuck is this nigga? Mm -hmm. Did anybody immediately go like he looks like Wagner? Like, that, you know, like, like, a, like a toddler version almost, you know, like, <laughs> okay, but, yeah. when he, but when he pulled up, pulled up on 305 season two, you mean like, uh, <laughs> on the, on, on what's like Simi calls it the sword art, sword art arc, like what, what the, I, I really, because I actually started live reacting to the Tower of God, the chapter after this, and I really wish we did it <laughs> to this chapter. We still had a discussion about it, but I, my mind was, I'm like, yo, that's, that's him? Yo, what the fuck is bro, he doing I, here? <laughs> bro, I remember reading that chapter, like, I remember, like, it's, you get, like, the light, and they just feel this immense power, and it's like, you see everybody sweating, like, even he one sweating, like, and, like, you know, we know, like, Fucking Dada Jahad and Man was just fighting crazy. And we see how powerful they are. And he just comes down just sheer like <laughs> and we just see him and it's like the can it's like what? I remember I'm like and he just had this like like night armor essentially, like how it's wrapped, like the like the cape is wrapped around him in the front mm -hmm. and it's just like and he had like the eye kind of going, like, almost, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 
And I, I just, I really couldn't believe what I was reading at the time, honestly. I, I, honestly, I, I, that shit was crazy. Because that was a chapter of the year contender, easily the year. Well, I think it was 2018. Easily. That was easily like one of the best mm-hmm. of the year. That blew my fucking mind. And then he looks at Bam, golden eyes, like, yo, didn't I kill you already? I said, huh? <laughs> so, <laughs> then he oh, ragged off. What do you mean? <laughs> just, what? Just choked him out, and I'm like, dang, that's crazy. Because the data version of Kun Edwan and Dad Jahad do all kinds of shit, and he's not even paying them any type of mind. Bro, y'all little. <laughs> y'all little. <laughs> Holy, that was, that was amazing. But, like, so the reason why I asked you that, because I wanted to get your initial impressions of them and whatnot. And now, all the things we know today. So, the, the information we got about the characters from, like, blog posts and extra, like, with, with, with Jaha, we know about, you know, his adventuring, the, ten, the, the, the great warriors, V, Arlene, this, that, and the third, killed Bam before. Then with Rurek, we know he's the fastest person to ever climb the tower. He did it in the 50 years. Then we saw him show out really well on the floor of death, 10% power, no Shinsu, not bloodlusted, all that stuff. How do you feel about the characters now? Like, what are our opinions on them? Because I think Jihad is very interesting from a mystique standpoint. Mm-hmm. I feel like, like I kind of, you kind of get what you see. I do. I, I imagine like there's more to him than meets the eye. Don't get me wrong. Because I argue that he's a lot smarter than people would realize. Because he figured out on his own. He mm-hmm. wasn't a regular. Um, no one told him that. He figured it out on his own. Based on some shit he was seeing in, on, in, on the floor of death. So I would argue he's a lot more, a lot more multi than people give him credit for but he seems like much like, like he seems like a kind of character that just wears what he's sticking on his sleeve because he'll see a cute girl and go like oh, mm-hmm. shoot she's looking so bad he texts, <laughs> he texts them he's not getting no reply back he sees Garam I love you with his hands up like he's he's very much what he's what he is where like Jihad is cloaked and shrouded in mystery I, I feel I feel that like good like he's, he's like mostly fast in the bed but he is Simple, like you know, he doesn't hide. When he, feel like he has no reason to. He, he stands above the, everyone. Mm-hmm. There's really no one to fuck around except anyone who's missing. And John, and that, that nigga sleeping half the time or in his castle. So it's like, who gonna check me? Who gonna do something? So like, he, he has that. He has enough strength to be vulnerable or to be open and honest. Like that. Like the moment that he was crying, my king was after four death when he actually felt for hell. He was actually depressed. Mm-hmm. And you know, guys saying like, why do you feel for this fucking? Oh, well, he was gonna reach up to the sole. Of, yeah, he's like, they were gonna reach up to the sole of your foot. He's like, man, you gonna stay? He's like, man, why are you pissing me off, bro? He's like, I fell for that guy. He's like, he's like, that's him. Like, yeah, I ain't gonna bother you because I don't want you killing my entire family. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he's just that bad, nigga. But uh, um, but with Jaha, like you said, it's so mysterious. Like, even with this latest art, and you see, like, I guess young Jaha, young King Jaha, and he's like. Yeah, I seen everything he was gonna do, Cat Hill and all y'all niggas was like and then he catches it was like what is this nigga really oh, about? Like, what did he see? Is that future sight? Come on, dog. <laughs> I I am the king. It was like Hey what the fuck is Mystery Island, bro? I'm gonna take it this shit now. <laughs> Look, Blaze is a Mr. Island. The Fire thing for the Galaxy guy like bro, when he put the Galaxy guy, I like bro. I was like I was and then I looked at the king, I looked at the current time Jaha, I'm like, nah bro. I don't even want to see what this nigga got his back. We good off that, Chief. On, on, on everything. Oh, God. And, um, uh, interesting to me, I feel like, between the two, is that you're kind of, like, chase Phantom in him, in a sense, while, like, Jihad is scared of him. Mm-hmm. And Jihad has every right to be, in a way, because obviously he came through the tower. When he came through his uh, castle, you know, did, did what he did, you know. But the fact, I feel like, that Eric, like, like he wants to know more about that. That in his, like, cause you don't you, like no one's saying that powerful, and mm-hmm. he's kind of just more like, like he doesn't give a fuck. You feel me? And he like like, like yeah, I was saying like he has the stain in the, the tower that nobody's mm-hmm. gonna bother him. Like they, he they, like like Gustang said, you can kill my whole family. Everybody knows what it is. He kind of tower the fastest. Like, I don't know how he fucking people. I feel like don't realize that like he really just smoked Airy Han. Huh? Like not he like smoking, but like he pulled up. <laughs> Everyone's like, yo, like, you know, I, I do this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just all, and it's crazy to me. And then you get the, you get the ranking. I, I just think that I know Jihad about him, and there's still much more that we don't know that I feel like 
might give him these little loopholes, essentially, in a way. But I feel like just Eric from being outside the tower and everything, too, is just, I don't know. There's something about him that I feel like he will just, like, just come out on top in a way. You know what I mean? I feel you. Like, I don't know how to explain it, really. I think, I th so, like, we could, well, so now that we've got that, let's talk about, let's, let's get some of the combat stuff and talk about their feet the things that they've done, like, <clears throat> Urek has the record of climbing the tower up to the 134th uh, fourth floor, the fastest, 50 years. Um, I, mm -hmm. I see people argue that they think he came into the tower with that level of strength. I actually, I actually don't agree with that. For this, I do think maybe he must, he might, he might have been distressed or regular to walk in the tower off a rip. I think that's poss a possibility. Oh well, Phantom minimum aside, because he was already in access. He probably just did whatever. whatever oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a riddle, right? So I'm gonna exclude him. <laughs> I can't get a real NRU yet, but I could, I could argue that maybe his starting point, like if you want to go by levels, like Urek started off level 50. You know what I'm saying? Like that's kind of that's kind of how I look at it. But it is, regardless of whether or not he wanted to explore the tower deeply in every nook and cranny of it, like um, like the, 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 uh, the great warriors did when they came in the tower or not, a feat is a feat, and I don't really like people try to downplay it in the sense that it's like, oh, well, you know, maybe he didn't care. He kind of rushed to the top. But, like, he did that, and then he could explore it after. Like, not all could stop him, right? So he could still explore it. So, like, it's still impressive that he did it that quickly. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't like to downplay that. The same way that I actually don't like to overplay the fact that this is not, I know this is kind of not related, but I think that it's cool that a lot of the regulars at the top have feats that all the other doesn't have. With like Enryu, he killed an administrator. That's very impressive. Mm -hmm. I know these two can't do that. But if they have to fight each other, is the ability to kill an administrator going to be important in the fight? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think that's going to matter. So. I don't think that matters like at all. Don't overplay that that feat either. So I think you got to find a middle ground for all these feats. Then when, with Jihad, he became the king of the tower. He's got all these items and contracts and things of that nature. Where like, I feel like if if we wreck up to a fight, he doesn't have a bunch of equipment. He's going to fight you. With, with Jihad, he got his sword, and his three forms, and then this contract that can do this. Like, he's got the backing and military might of the tower on his side, which I think makes him dangerous. Mm -hmm. So, we can kind of get into it based on what we've seen. Like, okay, so who do who we who do we think is probably <laughs> the smarter of the two? Just 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 offer it. If we had to, if we had to guess, I would say Jahan. That's kind of where I'm leaning to. I don't know. You... <laughs> Jahan. Yeah. Okay. So I think we, I, I felt like we we probably would all agree on that. I don't think we're like stupid or anything, and I don't think that's going to be like oh we, just solely because. Um, Jihad is smarter than him. He's he's like gonna lose mm -hmm. or whatever. But I do think that he's come across a lot more thoughtful, intellectual, if anything. If, if anything, plus plus all the things he's done in the tower and with the tower. Plus, cause like, cause like he was with Gustang when Gustang was kind of like, bro, there's some shit around us, and they started like recording Shinsu, right? So he he went through that growing process in a, in, a, in a sense. Um. Let's, let's do let's do techniques that we've seen so far. You think uh, uh, well, I want to say what I want to say on that real quick is he's really and it's a lot that he's super duper cautious. Why is a nigga this powerful, the king, this and other so scared? What is he so scared of? Why is he taking all these precautions to do all this shit if nobody's gonna touch him? Right? Yep, that's fair. Like I think he knows something because I I always argue that he's probably hiding something or shielding us from something on the later floors, you know. Because he won't climb, he won't climb past 134th floor. If you get what I'm saying, but um. Erica smoked that floor. <laughs> what do we think about um, like their their techniques? Well, if we're talking about how they look, I feel like Jihad's got a bit more elegance to them, and we've seen like much more in depth and like data Jihad because like. Cosmos is one of my favorite moves in the entire series. Ooh. Like, that shit just, like, my man just put out a whole solar system on him. That shit was crazy. Just like you said, he has all the type of weapons stuff, mystery needle. When he's uh fight, fight, fighting the Hidden Grove, we see, and he's like, I'm going to show you what, what the power of the, the title of King really means. And you just see all these, like, fucking 100 pound needles just, like, coming everywhere. You know what I mean? And uh, I feel like Yurik is more, uh, 
I can't really off the top of my head like say one of his moves or something like that. Although I know he's just so powerful. Like you said, he just pulls up like just him. Like he's gonna box with you. He's gonna throw just shoot you at you, shit like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if I'm talking preference, I might have to go with Jihad and his abilities. Um, used so with um no no with with um crap I just lost my train of thought completely. But uh, Urek to me has shown much better physical um feats. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Um, yeah, we do know we do know he can shoot shoot and shoot and launch shoot at the speed of light. Or that's that's impressive. That's something you can't um you can't downplay. But I do think that if I was gonna go from a like a a standpoint of control or like technique, I think Dada Jihad kind of showed me a lot and I could just if I just apply whatever he's learned over the years, it's probably a lot more refined. I think that yeah. golden mist that golden needed for Mystery Island to me seemed like a real thing, like a place or an item he got somewhere. Or venturing the tower, but he can like summon a bunch of them. You saw the like the better in I can think about it against Kun and Duan, he summoned the one, right? Then when we saw, yeah, then when he fights the hidden yeah, grove, there's like a yeah, hundred like, thousand, you know, unlimited blade works like coming down, like, like take you out. That's like, what I'm you, saying, yeah, it's crazy. Rex Super Punch and Supreme, um, Supreme, uh, Fist of the Scorching, of uh, Scorching, death, Supreme, all those things were like were crazy, and and. With just his, this, just with the flick of his, like, finger, like, snapping his fingers. His finger, bro. Completely disperse a lot of the Shinsu and whatnot. I actually don't like that. I feel like people downplay how strong Hell Joe is, specifically on the floor of death. Okay, don't get twisted. Because mm -hmm. how many things have we actually seen cut Yuri? Think about it. Yuri is very Shinsu resistant. I'm not, I know she's not a wreck. Mm -hmm. But the only time we've seen her bleed was because she got cut by who? Hell Joe. Otherwise, things that hit her and whatnot, even the purple Dementors, poison, all that shit did not affect him. It did not affect Yuri. So I do think that with the like the power of the Red Three so the Thor to cut the king and everything, that shit's mad powerful. And he was wailing on Urek. And he's like, anyways, put his needle in your arm so he's gonna separate you. Like 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 so <laughs> back. Like you can't help play him. How crazy that shit was! He was choking it out, speed speed blitzing across the little uh, Shinsu bubbles of blood and everything, telling Bam to just kind of make a foothold here. He snapped away of attacks like bro, that was incredible. From my from what I can see, and obviously he can fly, and he used spa a spatial distortion technique, a space time teleportation. That if he can't, use that it shit properly, is so cool. It would have yeah, killed yeah. everyone yeah. in the floor, which means his mastery yeah. control is yeah. insane. Yeah, like he was holding, he was really holding back in that fight. Like, if it's like majorly, just not to kill everybody around that nigga. Like he was like, yeah, I can't really go all out, or else everybody's going around me, gonna die because they know we're near strong enough to even handle anything but 10 to 15 percent of my power. Like what the fuck? Like, come on now, bro. He like he literally beat the shit out of everybody. And his, as far as his like moves set is concerned, I don't think it's as impressive as Jahad. Of course, I don't think it ever be like. like as cool as your house, though, you're just my boy. I just don't think, like, like you say, he's a physical fighter. And he hasn't got to showcase a lot of shit yet because what does he have to match up to? Facts. I like Jaha, you know, that dad of one version of him was over there fighting somehow on his, not on exactly on his level, but near it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, yeah, and, and, and remember, the Supreme King Scorching Fist of Death was a, a legendary technique. He held back a lot against Bam when he used it, so we don't know how strong it could really be. But he's only really displayed very simple, more simple in nature attacks. Whereas, like at least with Dada Jihad, we've seen various forms of his blade, and he's like, is he devouring it? Like, what's going on? We see the new Shinwan Ryu, like okay, lightning pill, like that's a, a take a read on is similar, but you know, it burns up. But we could we could do this different way as we're regulars and whatnot. Because I feel like on the data floor at that point they're already showing a pretty good understanding of Shinsu control and whatnot to the point where it couldn't mm -hmm. If I remember correctly, he had three Shinsu qualities already by that point when he was teaching Bam about his Shinsu nature and whatnot when they were learning Shinsu property conversion and everything. Like that's impressive. So I want to give Jaha credit for that because then applied all that to him now he's probably probably OD. Plus we know there's that future site seeing destiny or fate might be. That Kel Hellum was trying to like spam, like, oh, I can see the, the, the. <laughs> like, yeah, you, no, 
<laughs> I saw the future that you saw when I saw to change that future, but you saw the future that I changed. Therefore, the future that you saw that I changed when I saw you saw it, I changed that shit again. Like, <laughs> <laughs> type of thing. so. But yeah, um, they've both been impressive from a technique standpoint, but I'd probably give the edge to Jahaba. Physically, I, I think that. Uh, so you're actually, right. You're right, cause this is my head cannon. I have no no basis for this, but I do think if like it's just like pure physicality, speed, punching, and kicks, I actually think Urek has the upper hand there. Jihad comes across to me as an item merchant a bit. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, like fucking Hocus Pocus, mad spells and shit, knows like, everything like, his like armor that. Has what? Spells and his, his sword <clears throat> and shit, like all that stuff. Like, go ahead. Why, why, why I say that? Is, is the, why I agree with that? Is because Ari Hone has never beat the nigga around once in a fight. He's like, yeah, I challenged the nigga like ten times. I never beat the nigga one time. In my entire thing. So even when we were climbing, I never beat him no one. Mm -hmm. And he's he's uh he is and also he is immortal. But the regulars can kill him. So this so that wouldn't help him in this in this um, fight specifically. But like, oh boy, he he's crazy, bro. Cosmos was insane. Second Cosmos. Um, the golden ball mm -hmm. stuff was really dope. I thought he, I thought like when he was fighting Bam, um, in the, as his data version, he was showing out. Like to me, I don't think Bam surpassed him in the fight yet. I think he actually would have, but because he's a data, a, was a data version, he couldn't heal himself after Bam took his arm. And I argue that, um, I'll argue, the, I'll say these two things. Bam, the Jaha was so impressed that you kind of just let Bam have the Fitbit. To me, the fight wasn't over. They could still both keep going, but obviously, once he revealed the Fitbit, the real big dog came through and said, "Yoinks." Um, mm -hmm. And I think part of the reason a lot of the times these um, fights end up being part games is because it's to give the weaker person a fighting chance. So if Bam can't beat him, but he can break the three orbs or whatever the fuck it was, he would still win the engagement. So I think that was that was Jihad giving him a handicap. Even though during the fight he was evolving and bringing himself up to that level, I don't think he actually got there. Yeah. I know if he goes, like obviously now if he goes there, but even I argue if he went there in the last station, he was strong enough to take him out by that point. So, but yeah, Legolas. Le, 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 oh, fuck what damn it. Yeah, yeah, like that shit that shit probably he probably still has that or or whatever or maybe he he de equipped it and equipped a better sword shit. I don't know. Like you don't you never know. Like maybe he don't even use that no more. So that's crazy. old news. That's crazy. But um based on everything all the information we have, so we, we kinda talked about power, we talked about technique a bit. I do want to say this real quick before we kind of just kind of give our, our final thoughts and takeaway. What do you see for... Actually, real quick. Motivations. What do you think Jihad's real motivation is? We know at one point he wants to make a happy place where everybody can be, blah, blah, blah. Clearly that didn't happen. What do you think his motivations are? You think he's just sad because V... Arlene, why do you keep saying V? Ar Arlene doesn't love him? <laughs> nah, I remember he he got compromised. I remember they were saying that something within him... They said he changed somehow, so... Yes. I wonder if it was like, if he always had the foresight and he's seen something eventually, or, or from getting that, his perception on what he was going to do and accomplish changed. Maybe realizing that, like, oh, what that would have done is probably nothing, and I'm going to keep trying to change fate. So that's why he's like, you know, like he's always ahead of time, which is why he's always sleeping. He's always trying to see something else, always trying to do something else in that regard. That's fair. You see there? Okay. Yeah, I'm here. Go ahead. Uh, what do you? What did you hear the question? Okay, hear. Yeah, I heard the question. Uh, for me, it's definitely that. I, he's, I think he's just a horrible shell of his former self. Because if you look at Dada Jaha, how spunky and how sw spoke when he was, and then he's talking to the other him. He's like, he's like, well, you know, back in the day, he's like, no, I found a new adventure for us. He's like, oh, foolish, you, you so young and naive, you don't know what it really is like, and what what's really going on, and this, that, and the other. So I'm like. What did this nigga really see? Because, you know, he already lost our family and he is some, you know, blah, blah, all the shit he did with Genesis, killing all those fuck niggas and shit. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right. So I, I'm thinking, like, he lost everything that he really wanted. He's just a hollow simp, a former shell of himself. And whatever, I feel like this is his way to gain control and reign control. But I feel like whatever is past 135, it's something he, they can't control. 
like something they like that's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually in agreement with that. Like I feel like whatever he's where, for every reason he's locked it off. Like they got you know, got 13 months here and two keys, two rings, and everything. Like there's something. Like, I know I know we've we've seen some hints that the administrator on that floor and higher are much more hostile and whatnot. So maybe there's something going on that maybe he's trying to protect people from or doesn't want to deal with. But with the rest, we know he just wants to, he wants to get the fuck out of here. The wall side calling like, yeah, this is not it, bro. I'm trying to leave. Go back to where the sky and stars are at. So um, we already understand the motivation. I just want to see what you guys were thinking about Jihad. But who do you think is going to be? Um, I, actually, I think for this question doesn't work because I think they're both. Can, actually, can, I, can, I ask you, Go ahead. can I ask you a question there? And it ties directly what you about to say. Let me get out of the way so you can hear the background noise. So, since we're asking about motivations, I tie somebody just as equally as important because what see you said to the both of them. Right, a bit. Uh, no, uh, it's good thing. Okay, that's fair. So, so thinking about it, you know, the, whatever this Fitbit is, so so highly important. This thing knows all the secrets that Jihad does too, equally. So he knows how to start the war, and I really can't wait to see the Ten Great fans actually dis like disembark with Jihad and like have their own like, yo, I believe this way because you know they're not all cool, and not everybody's gonna be fucking with. And they said how Yurin wasn't fucking with how Jihad got them got Yuri right now. Yeah, she's I a feel like the Hoth family's gonna defect based on one to Yuri. I don't think they're gonna stay yeah. on terms. Yeah, and then I think whatever that Fitbit is, since Gus Tenga, I know it probably got something to do with NA and what and whatnot and all these. So it's like, like, okay, what is his actual motivation? Because I feel like he's somehow an antagonist to Bam and that's what C U said, S I U said. So how does that really work though? Because it's a high supposed to be an antagonist too, and they're just waiting. But like Gus Tang is most likely trying to make the move to cri cripple Jahar, or take Jahar out. So like, I think these are one of the things where the how you see the end game going because like part of me feels like we might have like a a four a four yoke like a four emperor saga type b where it's time to kind of run through all the <laughs> the um, family heads that really fuck with jihad and because part of the reason why i see that is because we haven't i think we have enough people travel with bam or knows bam directly that have soup have a lot of issues with the very family they come from right we saw how Indiana yeah. got kind of dis dispatched, and White and White, you know, Arya was like, "Bro, you cannot fuck with me. Go become a demon and come back." And Elaine, you know <laughs> Elaine, no for be Elaine. Couldn't wants to be the head of his family. Think about uh, Ewa <clears throat> when she found out her family that she was so proud of. They were like, they were doing what they were doing on the um on the floor, the flower of Zagania, or whatever. I, I know I'm saying that wrong. I'm sorry, but like. Um, and then Huari was like, why don't, you, so the, why don't you like rise up and be one of the elites in your family and change shit? I remember when she was fighting, um, Angel, yes. Uh, and she was like, yo, do you know what the families do? They come to the middle area, sexual assault, all kinds of crazy shit is happening here. Right. So she's aware of all of that. So I feel like there could come a point where it's like, it's time to take these heads so Gustan could be one of them, but I don't even think Gustan fucks with Jihad right now. So I think he's like a lone yeah, force. So yeah, yeah, nah, he, Lopo he, D is getting clapped he, next. He, he yeah, clapped he, next. Yeah, he 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 said Jahad, I mean Gustan set this all up. I don't think I don't think I can't see Gustan get beat. Yeah, I can't see Gustan getting beat at all, like beat up at all, because he's too he's too planned and meticulous and careful about all this. Like we Prep seen him time, multiple baby. times. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 we seen him too much. Like he he's just like. Too too smart, but he knows what the fuck he's doing. And Jahad, even Jah, remember Jahad was like, that he as soon as he said the thing, and they put the they put the hit out on those niggas too. But you can't just fuck with those niggas because they got the workshop in their back pocket. Mm -hmm. That was a good. That, that, that's a good thing. That, that, that's that's actually a good. Just because we know a lot of and he, and he's the one who basically started recording that. Hey, there's there's some shit around us. Like there's some Shinsu. I I I, I don't. Like there's some Shinsu type thing around us, but like there's some there's something around us, and they started recording it and everything. Like he's mad smart. He's got history with Eurasia, you know, one of his dogs is sealed and everything. So there, there could be so much going on. So if I remember correctly, I could be wrong about this. Wasn't he part of the? Wasn't he one the one who kind of came up with the procedure to make? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he is with the power he, of blood. Yeah. Yes, he literally is like the main one. Him and Jihad did this shit together and oh. formed the whole thing. Yeah. And then he had them on the list, the destruction of the Pope and Alpha. Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. But um, 
Okay, let's get back on track real quick. We know about wall, wall hike songs, whatever. But I want to ask real quick is just like moving forward in the series. What do you kind of expect from both characters? What's your head canon? Like you know, give me some, give me something from the future for both. Head canon? Yeah. What do you? Well, can I... Go ahead. Mm. Something I thought was always interesting to me is that, like, that, um, fucking, Jahan, like, isn't really scared in the, that, like, like, in the sense that, like, we know he likes wars of attrition, you know, in that regard, but when other people, when other families move and stuff, it's like whatever to him, it doesn't really get attention, I'll give you some orders and stuff, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I feel like if Yurik was to pull up to his, to his shit, He'd have to wake up off rip. You know what I mean? Yeah. In the sense that, like, that's how much stain he has. And I feel the fact that he just really just goes and does his own thing. Like he's like he said, like, why well, be king of the tower? That's a boring position. I'm trying to get out this shit. Like this is all like beneath me in, in a way. You know what I mean? Like he still plays like like you know the, the big bro role. That's why we love him. But I feel like he's just. I feel like we know how cool he is and how raw he is. But I feel like we don't realize really how crazy he is at the same time, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Because I really feel like he's just... I agree. I know, he's just... And he seems to have taken and, a lot of extreme measures to do certain things. Like, like, if you get two of the 13-month series, you're going to get possessed by the ghosts of the 13 months. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. He took so many steps in a lot of stuff. Like, I, It's just very interesting. Good job. Um, he's... Well, Oh, let's see. You finished, Joe? Oh, uh, well, no, my no, head no. Yeah, okay. My head can is this. Well, I just, you know, I see how Jihad moving. We all know how Jihad moving. Anybody against him. Of course, the families are going to rise up. We know this, too. But it's, mm -hmm. it's head cannon, but we, we know not everybody on good terms. Like, he even he even said, like, to Edwan Data, he was like, yeah, me, you on the outside ain't even on good terms, huh? And that nigga's a monster on the outside. Like, they, they, I, wanna, I can't wait to see him because he, he is a literal monster. And he's at the top of the top of the food chain. He wants he to fight Yuri too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He be breeding, but <laughs> he be, be breeding anything. Boy. He be breeding anything. He be in them what cheeks. That cheeks. It's uh, that shit crazy. Yeah, but like my head can is that. Uh, but but I base it off of this because you know you Nobody can check your in the tower. Literally, mm -hmm. nobody. So so in in the fact that. Hello. He's the blue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, he comes back. Um, oh, yeah, another thing, too. Um, that of Yurik was interesting to me in the sense that it's like he really did not care what was going on. He was so focused. And the fact that I feel like, he, like I remember, I was kind of shady. I'm, my memory's a little shady on what the whole point of what he was doing, but the fact I feel like that he knew what was going on. You lying. How to do everything and wasn't even worried about the fight or nothing. Kind of interesting to me too, even though he yeah. was kind of like a virus in a sense. I didn't want to see a weak version of himself. He just wanted to go gone and deleted. Yo, East, you cut out. So can you just oh, me? go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, can you hear me now? Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so I was saying like, yeah. So I, I feel like Yurik is going to align with since Yurik might just go save Yuri because nobody can check him, and then yeah, then the Hot Fan will join up with that that in, in motion too or whatnot, and then like so that'll like, bring them to like, like, bam and slash themselves. The Hot Family. Can yeah, they don't, they don't know what because you know they're not threatened by what comes on the organization because they're just a bunch of freedom peace people. But their yeah. main thing is that they have Yurik on their side, but he's not a menace. Yeah. But mm -hmm. them building a family and actually being aligned with Bam, that I even like. Oh, okay, now we really gotta crush you niggas. Yeah, yeah. Now we really gotta destroy you niggas. Now, like you, you got now you got the fucking top tier on your side. So yeah, we gonna have to crush you niggas. I was gonna say this though, cause I, I actually I actually think that's very interesting, and they have they have history together and uh, yeah. it would be crazy to me and i don't i don't i don't know why i just feel like Hodgins song matters to that in some shape or form anyways um what i was gonna ask is this how like i know jihad the jihad empire and stuff they don't really see full fug and look like song as real legitimate threats or whatnot but I would argue that I'm actually not that impressed with the Jihad Empire. On a, on a, like they're just like, they just seem to have numbers on their side, really. What, what it is, yeah. More so than anything else. Don't get me wrong. There, some a lot of their like high-ranking officials, Caliban, Yasracha, like a Borg and stuff. They've been impressive. 
but as a whole, like I'm not, I'm not blown away by these. And I can't count every princess because a lot of them don't fuck with him or do their own thing or they're kind of just like whatever. So I can't yeah. just assume every princess is riding out, although they do have Hitman Dory running the show. Because I feel like if N, if N escapes or is unsealed, she don't fuck with them. I just have a feeling she does not mess with the Jawad Empire at all. So like, yeah, they how, they how powerful they do you think Walt Hike Song actually is, though? Do you think they're like, do you think they're quality over quantity? Would you say? Most definitely. Anybody who the they just go to them. I'm gonna have to go. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to go to. Yeah, but I, it, definitely their quant their quality over quantity. For real. All right. All right, bro. All right, yo. Hi, bro. Nah, uh, for sure. but, um, I'm in agreement though. Yeah. Uh, I'm in agreement with quality over quantity. Because, like I said, with the, the sense of like how much magnitude they probably hold, like the fact that just two of them alone. Well, that's mm, that's, yeah, that's interesting to say though. We know about Bat by you and, um, no, no, I was yeah, but more so like like has there like one is four and what one's nine? One is I think Yurik is four, a fourth and Bakery is what ninth, right? Yeah. Ten? Yeah, so just off their influence alone, and obviously we know Jihad's third, and but he's the king of the tower, so people in his army like Adori seven. They, that's all supposed to, you know. But just we know for our knowledge, they're a relatively small group, and just those two alone have that much, you know, influence. You know what I mean? Because Adori's influence is directly from Jihad. You know what I'm trying to say in that regard? Because she's a princess of him, compared to these guys that are just like, you know what I'm saying? That makes sense. No, I agree with you because I, I I have a feeling that Wolf Hike Song has some heavy hitters. Like I don't think they're deep, you know. I kind mm -hmm. almost want to say that the straw. I almost want to say the like the straw hats kind of maybe the, or maybe the red hair pirates. Yeah, you know, to talk about like he has the best balance crew in terms of power. But I feel like in sheer numbers, he's completely outclassed by like Big Mom and her kids and like uh, Kaido and his up hundred thousand pleasurers and. Gifts. And, <laughs> yeah. and headliners and all that kind of type, all kind of stuff. So, I feel like he has a quality team, if anything. Especially whoever he really rocks with. Like, if he had like a team of like, they're like a I'm personal like, team. You know, like okay, these are my guys. I'm the fisherman. This is my light bearer. Like, I feel like whoever his his squad is is OD. Especially if he climbed with them niggas. So. Oh hell yeah. That's what I'm thinking. You know, you know, I'm curious about too. Do you think um? I mean, I don't know. But you said Yurik is smarter than we give him credit for. Most people give him credit for, but do you think there's possible that there's like heavy hitters inside Zaha's army that are like I don't want to say double agents, but more so like on the side of like Wolhake's song, kind of like you know what I'm saying, like keeping things at bay, making sure that nothing don't get too out of hand. I definitely think there's a lot of people in, in the Empire who, at the very least, aren't aren't like Yas Racha Caliban level of the. I even Caliban just started. Waver though, like it's that's and that was something very interesting to me too. That his strongest soul, <laughs> you know, El Paso. More loyal, seeing them all kind of blown up, and and now it became like his duty as you know a, a vassal of Jihad, if you will, as, as part of the Empire, <laughs> his own personal interests and cares and wants and emotions. So that was interesting. So I do think there's a lot of characters and people in the army who have that level of um. Like they're not, they're not, they're not devoted to that degree. And also, I, this is this mm -hmm. is this is a, a little bit of dumb head cannon, but for some reason, it's always stood out to me. When when and and Dorsey and Bam went on a date, and everybody was very impressed. Bran had a one-off comment that he said, "I would be impressed if it was a Dory," and I don't know why. I just feel like a Dory is gonna like this nigga when she meets him. For some reason, <laughs> Bran on some Yuri shit. So Ran said this, yes, about Adori Jihad. Like, um, they were sneaking around, watching them go under. Oh, you think Adori is gonna like bam? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. I just have that feeling. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping, and maybe I'm thinking about it too. I'm thinking about it too hard, but that's just that's just what I think. You think she's like a meathead in the sense, like, oh my god, he's too like like no, that type of shit. I have no idea what to expect from her, except for that fact that I know she she actually took it easy on. Because she seems to love, she, has, she seems to like him, so his punishment wasn't as severe as it was supposed to be, which is why he just got demoted to like a common class soldier, as opposed to whatever was supposed to happen. And then the, you know the arm, the arm thing. Did she seal her sister? Or did her sister get sealed? Or did she the one that sealed her sister? Who, Dory? 
Yeah, or Eurasia and the hot. The, well, not have, right? well, 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 Anne went crazy for some reason. I think a lot of people think uh, forget us. She it wasn't because of the thirteen month series. It wasn't her who did that. But for something, oh no, she read the book of Arlene or something. Or Arlene yes, yes. went crazy because of because mm -hmm. of what was in there, and then she ended up becoming she learned the truth and shit. Yes, so that whatever truth she learned was too much to handle to some degree. But uh, yeah. I wonder if there's any ties of relation for that loyalty in that regard. You I know what I mean? I think, I, think, I, think, I think it's significant that they were both that's ranked at seven two. So I, I think exactly. It, to me, it's too much of a coincidence that uh, two two princesses are at seven, and one is uh, from from what we know, Adori might not even belong to a great, ten great family. She just uh, that that bitch, and then and Percy type B, the daughter of two. Uh, I'm sorry, I said, said, said Anne as an Anne is a daughter of two, Eurasia and Gustang, which is kind of wild to me. So she's got the blood of two irregulars in her, plus the power of blood, which to me has gotta be significant because that's that's kind of a, a Shinsu clash I was thinking about doing later, even though we have nothing to go on. It'll just be for headcanon, but it'd be fun I think, <laughs> think about it. But that would be a fun headcanon fight. I see like Urex role moving forward as as Bam's mentor from from the irregular mm -hmm. standpoint. He's had Hodge mm -hmm. Sung for martial arts and FUG and, you know, butterfly, whatever, techniques and stuff like that. Fast skip every, or uh, reverse slow control. Uh, Van Kael ta taught him orb-related stuff because she has the flame orb disco inferno. And I feel like with Urek, with s 77 floor, he's going to learn real irregular type shit. I know the God of Guardians taught we have to Revolution. He's, ta he's learned some shit like that. But I feel like he's going to mentor him in that sense. Like, what you, what you, what like that, like you, you're letting the tower still holds you back as you're not regular. None of these, none of this shit applies to you. Let me show you, you know? I think he'll take a big leap. Yeah, I'll get. Because I don't, sorry, I don't think Urek, I don't, I actually don't think Urek's gonna make it to the end of the story. I think he's gonna get, I think he's gonna die. And I think Enryu will be the one that gives him like the final piece or lesson at some point because of who knows what I mean. The, thorn, the thorns are to slip the, the, the king's throat tight beat. So I actually think Enryu is going to be like the final mentor in some sort of form for Bam. Just my pure head cannon. And the Jihad, I just think, is going to be one of the major antagonists. Like, I actually don't think he's going to be the final bad guy, personally speaking. I still think it's going to be Rachel, oddly enough. I think Rachel's the, the final the final boss. Or or something mysterious in the tower we don't know about yet. Like, like late, in the, in the late I think floors. that's valid, though, in the return. But who would who would kill Yurik? <laughs> uh, it has to be the regular, or maybe he dies saving Bam or something. I don't know. I don't even. It could it could just be that he actually just leaves though. I I've considered that like I've touched everything you know. You know, whenever he would come to the outside world. I feel know, like that makes more sense, low key. Yeah, that's fine. I, I I'm a, I'm in agreement with that. Cause you're right. It I was gonna take ask. Take a lot to kill him. Like, you, like if it's not Enry or somebody, I'm just not trying to hear it. You know, like it's like, bullshit. <laughs> it's bullshit. <laughs> I hear that. Like if it was like Calvin or something, like, wait. you gotta cut, stop the cat. Calvin's not not. You know what I'm saying? Like so, yeah. I hear you. Actually, you're right. You're right on that. You're right on that front. I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> All right. Quick question though. Go ahead. Oh my fault. No. Um. So we know obviously you're in the outside. How much does he remember? You know what I'm trying to say? And that like. Cause you know he wants to go back out. He obviously knows the outside is much more vast. Not like I wonder how not, we're gonna learn more. He seems to remember it well because he talked about this like open. I like he almost comes across open world aspect. Like he came from our world. Like like if, like if, if if you had to make me guess, like I I think he's from Korea. <laughs> like you know, like twenty ten Korea or something. You know, like that'd be my guess. Personally speaking, um, talking about the, the stars and the sky and the vast world out there, whereas Bam was just in some weird kid who know nothing and everything he learned was from Rachel. Well, exa yeah, yeah, exactly. I think that's part of the reason. I think maybe he came into the tower on some intrigue, on some intrigue type beat, trying to change Phantom Man or whatever, and learned he would lose, and now he's like, oh, anyways, it's kind of made in here. I'm trying to leave. But, but, <laughs> but yeah. All right. Final episode. Oh, yeah, he chased him. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And he got told he would get he get rocked. He could he wouldn't win. Final answer: Marek versus Jihad. Who you got? Who, if you're a betting man, who you putting your money on? Yeah, he comes out on top every time. And 
I, I think I said this in the video that I made where I compared the three, those three irregulars, number two, three, and four. I low key for some reason I, I think our rec could take him. I just do. I don't have it. I like I said, bro, it, it just like Gustang was scared to fight Yurik, and then Jahaz calling out orders to kill the family. Like it's just levels, to this, bro. It's he, levels to this. He's like, he's like, it's I'm levels. Gonna piss you off and you wipe up the entire my entire lineage. Let me just not. That means not rock the boat. And what does that mean? If you could wipe his whole family, that means you could wipe what? Any ten family, no problem. Because if you, if you, if if uh, if Harry Hunt said you much better back in 06, mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> so I, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure you could watch anybody five downward. All due respect, Enry, you got his. The reason why Enry U's rank is so high, besides his of course, you know, whatever his thing, is that he made the tower realize that oh, they're not really gods. Like they could die, you know what I mean? Yeah. Changed everything. That's why he's two. Like you said, it doesn't mean because you could kill an administrator. Eric probably could fucking nigga hit that and go to German suplex. You know what I'm saying? GG. Like, yeah. so, you know, that's sorry. That, that, that's, yeah, I, that's why. I feel like there's just, there's levels to it, man. Every time he's talked about in a certain, like, it's just, like, he's just different, bro. He's, he's just different, man. Ray, Ray, Ray Barracuda, man. He's different. Yes, sir. But I want you guys to give me your thoughts in, in the comment section below. Who do you got? Um, you, can, you can run through any of the, the topics we, we, we talked about. Some of y'all clear with your power scaling. <laughs> talking about, oh, you see, in this panel, he's one centimeter. Therefore, if you got, like, you know, like, if you want to go ahead and read everything in the comment section. But, yeah, let me know what you think. We got a wreck for this video. Sorry, King of the Tower. But uh, you ain't the champion. You ain't the people's champ. Is this your king? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna be out. You're...